Hi there, it's Myrtle here. So what's it I'm doing? Well, I'm doing a video and it's about me. And when I say it's about me, it's about, you know when you get on YouTube, it says about, and it tells you a bit about the channel. A lot of people have been asking me what I do in that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read what I wrote about myself, just in case you haven't read it. So here I go, this is what I wrote about on YouTube about myself. And it starts off like this. Hi, my name's Mordo here. I am an ex-carer for my mum and dad. My dad died back in 2008, April 2008. My mum da died, would you believe, on my dad's birthday, the 3rd of January 2013. I miss them both, I miss them both. I did have an older brother. He was called Callum and he left home when I was about must have been about six year old, when I was about six year old, and he moved up to Aberdeen. He was a head chef, he was really good at his job, he was a really good head chef. Uh, he was good to me, really good to me as an older brother. I used to go up and visit him quite a bit in Aberdeen when I got older, and uh, the last time I seen him, he was getting chemotherapy, and uh, his hair had all fell out and he was like a skeleton. And uh, he had lymphoma, cancer, and he had said to me that he wanted to die. He said to me he wanted to die, which which upset me. But anyway, I went up to Aberdeen, he wanted his house. He had a small house in old Aberdeen, a flat, and he wanted me to decorate it for him, paint it. So I could remember painting it, and um, a few months afterwards, he died. He died. Yeah, my mum died on my dad's birthday, and would you believe, my brother died the day before my mum's birthday. So Callum died in 1995. Four years ago, my sister Anne, who stayed in Dundee, she hardly ever spoke to me. She hardly ever spoke to me. Big age gap, you know. Uh, four years ago, I thought I'd try and get in touch with her and I typed her name in on the computer and what came up with her name wasn't a Facebook page it was because um, I wasn't on Facebook I just typed her name in to see if anything came up you know like an address or that and what came up was the Dundee Courier and it was a remembrance and uh, no a remembrance of death and she died she died on when was that she died on the 9th of June, 2018. It was a shock. <laughs> it was a real shock for me to read that my sister had died. Nobody told us. My other two sisters never, never told us. And her family didn't tell me that she died. Even though she got cremated just five minutes down the road from where I stay. So I wasn't at Anne's funeral. Uh, my other two older sisters, Irene... Irene's the next youngest to me, I'm the youngest. Irene stays in a place called Victoria in Melbourne, Australia. And um, the last time I spoke to her must have been just after, it must have been a few months after Anne, I found out Anne had died because I was on Facebook and I had wrote it on Facebook. And she must have seen it, Irene must have seen it and she got in touch. But they haven't been in touch ever since. But when they were in touch, when Irene did get in touch a few months after Anne had died, she told me she was terminally ill, stage four, we cancer. So her family in Australia has not been in touch with us. And, um, you know, they've just not kept in touch. So I don't know if Irene's still alive. <laughs> Finally, my oldest sister... This is, this is cheery, yeah, this is cheery. Finally, my oldest sister, Sandra, I haven't seen for about 30 years. Um, she had a fallout with my mum and dad when they were alive. She was home visiting and she had a fallout with them. And she told my mum and dad more or less to F off and she said she didn't want to see them again. And she didn't. She never saw them again. She wasn't at the funerals or that. She never came home. I told her that, that her mum had died and she didn't want to speak to me. I told her that her dad had died and she didn't want to speak to me. 
that's what it was. I told her back in 2008 that her dad had died and she didn't want to speak to me. Her husband said, she doesn't want to speak to you. And they was like, oh, well, fair enough. So when my dad, no my dad, so when my mum died in 2013, I never told her. I didn't tell her. So, um, but my other sisters would have, when they were alive, would have told her, Anne would have told her, or Irene. So I never. Um, what did I do with myself? Well, I suffer from depression, bipolar, I have my good days and my bad days. Um, I was an ex-DJ before I was a carer. Ex-DJ, I love my music. I love, used to love DJing years ago. And I still DJ upstairs in my bedroom with a DJ mixer and that. I like my DJ mixing. I also rescue old staffy dogs. And I've got one just now called Skittles. He's sleeping on the sofa. I've had him, had him for a bit. Coming up for six months now. Got him in May. This is now November. Rescue dog. Ten year old. Love him to bits. Had another rescue dog called Tash who passed away back at Hogmanay. Had to put him down. And then um, my, my other one, Hartson, died with old age. They, were, they both died with old age. But I always rescue old dogs because nobody wants them, so I rescue old staffies. Um, I've got a really good friend, David. When I say friend, like a partner, but he doesn't stay with us. David's got his own house. But he comes up most times. David's ex-army. He's a Gulf War veteran. And uh, I love him to bits. And if I didn't have David, I don't think I could be here now, to be honest. He's helped us through a lot over all the years. I've been with him since. I think it was about... <coughs> yeah, it was two years after Callum died. 1997 I've been with David. So that's 25 years I've been with him. And he comes up and he does my shop and everything. He's got post-traumatic stress disorder, David. And uh, we hear a lot of fallouts at times, doesn't it? It's like uh, we me with my depression and bipolar and David and post-traumatic stress. It's not really a good sort of match. But we've been together 25 years, so there must be something there. There must be something there. But yeah, he's um, post-traumatic stress disorder. He's a Gulf War veteran. He was in the first Gulf War, 1991. And I love David to bits. So this is just a wee bit about us. This is just a little bit about us. Uh, I'm going to get going just now and yeah I'll see you on the next one thanks for coming into the Hungry Nuts channel and I'll see you later take care and it's bye for now have a super day cheerio